Can there be creativity in the church? Stay tuned if you want to find out. Welcome to Animated Christians, where we're animating just for you original movies, series, as well as clean anime and manga reviews. My name is Zeke Matthew, and today we are discussing the creativity in the church. There's a lie in the church that we seem to believe, and it's simply that when it becomes cheap enough, then we can use it for the kingdom of God. Or, I can never be used by God to do these impossible dreams. For me, I never thought I'd be doing a YouTube channel, yet here I am helping you. Now that that's out of the way, let's see what else is wrong. One thing I think the church needs to let go of is this idea of control if it wants to see more creativity in the church. Let me explain. Each ministry is a branch off the pastor on stage, which is a branch off the church, and they can dictate what can and cannot go on within that church. So you are limited to the options they give you. So readers, Bible study, men and women Bible study, ministries, dance, drama, worship band, and prayer teams, and outreach ministries. I'm sure there's more, and there's nothing wrong with these ministries. The problem lies that most churches limit on what you can and cannot do in regards of these ministries. Like there are some churches that they don't allow you to interact with the Bible study. Church is supposed to be an interactive community, not a place of power and control over their ministries. And the reason they do it is so that they don't lose sight of that particular denomination in which they are a part of. And if you want to learn more about denominations, you can click the video card above. The thing is, church needs to let go of this power and control if it wants to see creativity thrive. You're not even allowed to do debate or question the church in any form, way, or possible. It is as it is, and that's not how it should be. So how do we fix this? Well, simply by allowing Christians in your congregation to make clubs. Like maybe one wants to make a movie club, another wants to make a book club, another maybe a writer's club, another programming club, or even a gaming club. Why should you allow this? Because if people feel like they are being controlled by someone or something, they will leave. And second, it would open the door for your congregation to be more involved in your church because they would be reaching other people who may have never heard of Christ. Jesus never said you had to have a degree to do these things or even have requirements to serve him. Now the church seems to be 10 years behind in tech for whatever reasons. And one way they can improve on this is looking at what's available today to get the message of Christ out there. Second, let your congregation create ideas for you. Allow them to use their creative gifts in the church. Jesus spoke in parables, so we need to speak to the people with the tech we have today to share with the gospel. And don't be afraid to go outside the bounds of the church. Let God and your creativity push the limits and church don't control what they can and cannot do. Just embrace it, but be sure to make sure it is scripturally sound. Also, in those other ministries I talked about, allow each person to have a voice, direct, or create something unique. And you may be surprised at how creative people can be instead of you controlling what they can and cannot do in the church. The goal here is to embrace creativity in the church, not condemn it. So I hope this gives a basic understanding of what creativity could look like in the church. And join me next Friday where we will discuss criticism in Christian media as well as the church. And never forget, Animated Christians is just for you.